from both sides. Oh my god. What the hell is this place? What the hell is this place? This is like, this is like yesterday on steroids. Yeah. What the hell is this place? Sometimes she is depicted with the whole head of a cow and the human body. Sometimes she is depicted as a cow. Try not to use flash, please. Try not to use flash. So all this was covered in exhaust and we would never we were never able to see the ceiling before. But imagine just imagine the challenge of carving something like that. <laughs> Look at the ceilings. Imagine how trippy this place was back in the day. <laughs> and as I was saying, we have no evidence that like, this could be created before construction. Had to be constructed first. And then like, yeah, oh my goodness. Like, we will look for a few minutes here and your neck will start <laughs> huh? But I want to tell you that the year is divided into two sections. Half of it is on this side and the other half is on the other side. So we can start from here. As I told you before about the serpents and the astronomy, all, all this is astronomy. It will take a lifetime and more to try to explain everything in here, if you know it. Oh. So the field of astroarchaeology is just about to, like, was just born few years ago and inshallah in the future we will have generations of archaeoastronomy professionals. As I told you before, the civilization is wide and deep and all aspects of knowledge almost is needed to be discussed in this field. Is this filled completely with sand at one time? It was filled with sand, but not completely. Okay. So they got up there and carved those faces yeah. off somehow. No. They knocked those faces off. It must have been much yeah. well. Yeah, yeah. Actually, they got tired. <laughs> Imagine that you get tired from smashing them. What about those who carved them? Or them? <laughs> it's so unbelievable they tore up that stuff. <laughs> There's lots of damage. How's that about so below? Who was, was asking as, as about so below? Probably me. Oh. <laughs> you cannot say anything except that this is, means as above so below. Why? Because the rest of the characters is in the other direction, like the other line above. The serpents ascending and the serpents ascending with snakes is usually described as gateways of transformation. Of course, you can see ships sailing among the stars. What can you call those? <laughs> but spaceships. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Here we will have the goddess Nood. <clears throat> Mind your step. Yep, found it. <laughs> <laughs> After huh? time you remember it there. And we can see. <laughs> Can you see Aquarius? 
He is this character holding the two jars and the pouring water. You see it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The top. Oh, yes, 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 I see the, 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 huh? yeah. Yeah, with the wiggly lines coming down. Exactly, with the wiggly lines. <laughs> and then leave two other characters and you will find Pisces, the two fish and yeah. the basin. Uh -huh. ah. no, this is in the capability of like what we saw yesterday. Was the, the one. Yeah. And I told you, this is the same don't thing. underestimate when we go up there we will see the slabs that form these ceilings. They are 30 tons and 40 tons. So the domestic Egyptians were capable of dragging and constructing also heavy stones with the method I told you about today is that after I do the foundation, after I level the foundation, I put the line where I will have my fillers and then I bring the first section and then fill with mud break and then drag the next section and then raise the mud break and make the ram, drag the third section. And as you can see, here are the sections. Like this. Huh? From here until here. So it's not a megalithic piece. And then it's half. So it's not even the whole thing. And one after another, after another, after another. And then they managed to build this entire thing. So this method is really functional. It will last thousands of years as well. And the only huge pieces that they needed is the one for the, the ceiling or the hinges. Hmm? Now how do those compare to the ones we saw like the Assyrian? Exactly. Why, why take that other challenge? And even in the ancient time, while this was functional, <laughs> So those, those up there, the big ceiling tiles, how do they compare in size to the Assyrian? Huh? Um, how much of those weigh mm -hmm. up there, the ceiling? They, were, they can weigh 30 tons, 40 tons. Is that tons. really the max to the Egyptian, the dynastic Egyptians? No, 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 no. There is more. What's, what's their max for being able to move? Now we have to define what is dynastic Egyptian and what is not. Yeah. Some big obelisks were removed. Some big obelisks. Yeah. 80 tons, 100 tons, they were dragged and they were moved. How do you think they moved the obelisk to Rome? New York City. It was done, it was done primitive. It was yeah. done with normal, yeah. not with the rolls. But in the beginning, when they wanted to move some of those, they damaged really many obelisks until they managed to know how to move some of them in a good condition. So they Lots of them also sunk when they were trying to export them. So then why couldn't they have built the Assyrian, in your opinion? Hmm? Then why couldn't they have built the Assyrian, in your opinion? It's not just a huge block. Maybe I will answer your question when we are wondering in the Giza Plateau. Yeah. Because the complexity in the, of the design is not just about moving huge blocks. Right. But it's about the, the outcome and the inaccuracy. So we will, we will see. This is, this is what... Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So what is the sign after cancer? Did you notice that we are going in order between the start sign? We cannot put random. It's the same order that we are using until today. So what is the start sign after cancer? Leo. I'm with you. I'm just going to use a full hour work on board. <laughs> Before we start with the star sign, yeah. this one is the thing here. This is all the crowns. All the crowns. Yeah. Of the king. The king himself or any of any king. He doesn't just have the one double crown. No, there are crowns for each. The double crown is like these two, two down there Sorry. combined Sorry. together. Right, right. And it's That's called Sikhim Peace, the two powers, you see? One here, the red crown, and the white crown, and then both of them are uni united here right. on the third one. Upper and lower. So let's go see the Leo.
<laughs> yeah. I'm trying to meditate here too. <laughs> Meditating's not allowed here. They're just trying to stop you from breaking the law. Uh, like they put the birds in. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> That'll stop the hippies. Because this is actually the beginning of the year, but we are here in the beginning of the year. Was leave. And you can see how Nut is birthing the winged scarab. You see that? This is the goddess Nut. All the ceiling is the goddess oh, Nut. Yeah. You see it? Okay, yeah. So here is when she's birthing. Of course, this is the beginning. There is where she's swallowing the disc. Okay? So Leo. Hmm? Yeah. Oh wow, she really does. She goes, she goes ahead and does it all the way down. Oh yeah. Her feet. Like she's no. Oh crap. So there is her feet. The lady is holding a flame. See her? You see the rectangular shield with the serpent? This serpent has a bird head. Yeah. I got to research about this a little bit. And this is called Sita. And she was a gateway of transformation. Where is she? The one in the rectangular sheet. Oh, okay. Yeah, there you go. Oh. After this one, you have one, two ladies, and then the third lady. You see her? Yeah. Was holding a plane. Uh -huh. Very Yeah. Libra right there. And this is Libra exactly right there with the scape. You see the leg, Libra? Huh? Yeah, the tail. Move yeah. one, two, three, four characters after that, and you have Scorpio. Oh, the tail. Yeah, yeah. Scorpio. And what's after that? That scorpion thing, that looks like the uh, image that's on Gabrexa Tepe. Oh, I haven't seen that actually. Oh my god, yeah, he's cut, like, there's like a scorpion thing carved into Gabrexa Tepe. It looks, looks like, like that. Yeah, that's that's cool as hell. That's 12,000 years old. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah, it looks like one of the major points. Where is it? Ah, this is also a star constellation. All the constellations up there. Sorry, it's a big dipper. Uh, and then there's Capricorn over there. And then there is Capricorn over there. Cool. The temple of Dandara has 14 crypts, by the way, not just the one, the famous one. So one that we will be able to go to, I believe another one was renovated and opened, and there is more that is not open to the public. Many crypts, 14. They found 14 crypts. Now, let's go inside. One of the things that you will notice that some Huh? Cartouches or uh, shins like this will have the name. Hmm? And hundreds of them is not going to have names. Because of course it was all the priest's name. So if you find the name of this king from the Roman time, that doesn't mean he ordered it for this to be constructed because it was already there and we will see overwhelming amount of shells without hands or cartouches without hands. As you can see, the scaffolding is made so they can use the formula that they discovered that can eat away the exhaust without destroying the beautiful color. So all this is original colors, of course. Ah, yeah, from... So we can see here, we start to see here, many of the names without names, but somebody did actually wrote his name. Can we date and relate the temple to him? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Oh, crap, I'm going to carve my name in then. <laughs> there he is. The temple was constructed in, in 1869. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. By this guy, 1886. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> wow. 
didn't give me a chisel, I'm about to take over the ship. Yeah, right. Just write your name. We discovered who may carve the temple or constructed the temple. It's King Bocherby. <laughs> <laughs> So here we can see clearly that the granite that existed in the ancient structure was reshaped and reconstructed with bases of the columns in this. So this is the first one, only the first la uh, level here of this is granite. And as we can see, it was shaped manually by hand. It's not reflecting anything that reflects power tools. So, but they have taken out the same piece that's on the boxes. Mm, yeah, as I told you, this could be a broken piece. Yeah, yeah. Like, so they've taken damaged. out the Why is it, is it black on the top? Because when the temple was used as a monastery, people lived inside here and they cooked and they warmed up. So all the exhaust uh, came and... But you can see originally the amount of the stars like, yeah, I will waste my life just doing this section of the start. Yeah. At least I will lose my sight. Yeah. <laughs> so this is really, really challenging work. Thank you, sir. Yeah, everywhere. So you can see that the art descended to the Greeks and Romans from the ancient Egyptian. The symbol of King Nasser, he is holding the mirror and opening a channel. It also symbolizes energy, not just that he uh, is doing agriculture. This is not a daily life scene. So we know that we have significance for these scenes, aside from being, displaying what they are, No matter how many times I come here, of course, there will be still new things that we can see. So all this chamber here, for example, ah, these are is nameless. What's the name of this king? And how can we say, if they if you find the name Ptolemy or anybody here, they will say King Ptolemy order to build this one. And then they will give his name and they say in the year, blah, blah, blah. Huh? Something like that. So, this is Hur Samatawi. The figure we will see in the crypt underneath. Tifnut, the moisture, the spit of the sky. She can be also fire. Shoe, wind. Could be also magnetic currents. He is holding the reflectors, hmm? the mirrors. Hathor. And the Hur Samatawi in this form here as Ra. Hathor. Isis, you can see she has the throne on top of the winged disc. <laughs> also, this is Iris, Isis, and this is Hur Behdid from the north. So, there are many characters of Horus, as you can see. <laughs> Isis and Osiris, the sistrum. What's he holding? The sistrum, this one here to the right. Yeah. Yeah. Is a sistrum with the zills, so it will shake like. Okay. What is the other one? It's also a sound device, but we got to look at one that has more details. So I will tell you my own opinion about it. And I want you to know that I'm a musician as well. 
So both of them, and of course, we know that these are the devices of Hathor. We will see definitely more of this one in much better detail. So when we look at it, I would love to explain it. Anybody saw one that is big and with uh, bigger details? Hathor it again. Let's go to the next level. One day, uh, we find in one of the churches a shrine from Cortezite has inscriptions from the time of Nechtenebo. Of course, it could be added later, these inscriptions. But the interesting part that it had the image of Jesus Christ inside. So you can see that also the Coptics were passing down the same tradition that they passed down from the late period, which is a bit far from the original builder who could produce an entire structure from the same design and from the same materials or from the chosen materials. Instead, they could, the others who can build structures like these would bring uh, one of them shrines and then house it to give like some of the power from the ancient structures to the newer structures. Why do I believe that? Is there any relevant fact? Yes, what is the fact? The fact is, in each one of those shrines, the priests drilled, not drilled, pounded until they made a hole in it. Because they used to sneak behind through the crypts and come and imitate sounds through the shrine so that they would think that the idol is the one who is making the sound. The founding looks so primitive in comparison with the machining of the piece, which reflects that this piece was inherited and repurposed. Also, in some of the ones that is displayed in the Egyptian museum, you could find clearly that they, by pounding, enlarged a spot in the base of the shrine, to house a statue, to lock in a statue, and that looks also like it was not made for a statue, same like it was not made for Jesus Christ. They make you focus on the statue while the real power is in the device, in my opinion. No names again. King, I don't know. The who. cartouches are empty. The cartouches yeah, are empty. Why? Why? Uh, I don't know why they're supposedly, empty. supposedly it was the king's order to build a temple dedicated to the goddess. That, 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 that. This is the official story, as uh, many of the academics will tell you. The power was in hand of the priest. This is the fact. The priest has the power. And in the Greek or Roman time, of course, this temple used to have. Priests, uh, yeah. this is Hathor. They used to have music, music, yani dancing. And uh, they also used to produce wine. So imagine if you are this invader coming from another country. Which would be your favorite place? The pyramid or a temple where they have women and, and beer and wine and dancing? Huh? Yeah. It's easy. Yeah. <laughs> so the priest, oh, these fools, oh, these fools are following their desires. Okay, build more temples for Hatsu, or give them what they want. When he gives them what they want and then some, then he can, I can come here. You think you are the leader and the victorious uh, leader and a king and, huh? Yeah. But there is more. I will make you a god. How do we do that? Because here, I proved to all the people that you are descending from the gods. And the Hathor is your mother. And Isis is your mother. And Osiris is your father. And you are the depiction or the spirit of Horus will be living in you as the king on earth. Of course, who can resist this? Mm -hmm. Then of course, okay, I want to be God. I want to be worshipped. I want to live for eternity. I, and this is, of course, after they open their eyes to knowledge beyond their expectation. So you will surrender to those. Oh, I still have to. Yes, you are the God. We just, we all here work for you. Hmm? So this way, the priest can control 
the religious system of this new invader, and then he can control the masses mm. under the name of the religion and then take over. And this is exactly what happened with the Roman Empire. Mm -hmm. But the conversion to Christianity, that's why you have the conflict between Christianity and why some people think Christianity is an ancient Egyptian religion, because this was the manipulation of the priest. Mm -hmm. They took the new label of Christianity and they put their old stories and their tricks and everything. A quick question. Sure. What, what, are, what are these? It's like mushrooms? I wish. <laughs> it's a bush of lotus. Sometimes. And also a bush of papyrus. In some, some Coming way. out of their crown. Yeah, lotus these are the representation of provinces. Mm. And that all the gods from the... Oh, yeah, that too. Hmm. Like being a god. It's, our, it's your right to collect all the goods from all the provinces. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to get everything I want and then some. Mm -hmm. But then what he doesn't realize is that they will control the religious system of your nation and then control the people and then promote their own people to become the kings. Because they will be, he is the chosen one. Because I can put his name again. <laughs> Remove the old name. What's the name of <laughs> Mesh. What the hell? Did you see the crypt? Yep. See the what? The crypt. No names, no names, no names, no names. Yeah. Every inch is has a script. It's crazy. We will pass 10 at the time. I will remain downstairs so I can explain for you what you need to know. Mind your head, mind your step. Slowly, slowly. <laughs> Hopefully not. No, no. Now, 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 now. Yep. Yep. Oh, wow. Jesus. Okay. better scene of the other shape which we know also that this other shape is for sound hmm? yeah. which is the same one that she is holding here and he is holding there the, the first one was the sister that shakes but what is the other one look here the symbol of wind okay so this Wind will be blowing like any wind. Wind will be coming here. What is that? Water. I believe no. no. Sound. Oh. Sound waves. So this, yeah. as you can see, this is a temple. Yeah. This is an, a gateway. Hmm? Mm -hmm. The serpent is a wave. Mm. The nehah is a symbol of infinity, million. The design itself it's not just the, that part, but it's this as well, which is the famous shape in the shrines and the temples of ancient Egypt from the pyramids time. So if the other one was a normal system that shakes and creates sound, this, the sound itself will be captured by the design itself. Mm -hmm. And they still use designs like this, but in other things like when you find that they pour these concrete pieces in front of embassies and stuff to protect it, if somebody made an explosion, they will make the slabs of concrete bends to the outside like this because the shock wave will take the same curve and go far away from the structure. So they use the design to control the wave. 
Here is the same thing, but this is sound wave. And when the sound wave spirals and comes down like this, what's going to happen? As what's known as a standing wave, which will create resonance. That will create the structure to resonate. And of course, we know that Hathor is the goddess of music. So they were aware, of course, but what is this? The Ank and the Vas is, but this is totally different mm -hmm. figure. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Can we skew it in further? Yeah. This is Ra. Okay. So but this is Hor Samatawi as Ra. Hor Behdet. Yeah. Okay. Okay. The minute necklace. It's another ritual or another activation. Yeah, yeah. But let's go see the light bulbs because I'm sure others are dying yeah, to yeah. see. <laughs> now, the lotus flower. Hmm? Why is there a serpent coming out of the lotus flower? It's a bio radio. This is how the lotus flower is described that it goes into the primordial dark water. Yes, we can stand here. Can stand here. Yeah, yeah. Can stand there. The lotus flower, as I was saying, is described to be an uh, explanation of the whole cycle. And also, in the myth of creation, it's known as the soul of Ra, the spirit of the sun, or the soul of the sun. The flower itself is similar, uh, like a sunflower. It sinks to the pri the bud sinks to the primordial dark waters at night, and comes out during the day. It's a symbol of of developing power, natural force of nature. Also, this natural force of nature is tuned in with the cycle of nature, and it happens naturally in that flower. So it's not something. So this is, is describing how Hur Samatawi will become will will become a, a, a primordial god. Hmm? Uh, yeah. So when the bud comes out, hmm, it opens up and the petals radiate. And this here, I believe, is showing that energy force coming in a biological like a biological wave, like mm -hmm. a bio-radio of some kind. Mm -hmm. We have this, that, that sounds so scientific and everything, they could just understand it from nature. Yeah. Just look at the, let the lotus flower teach you about nature. But these are not something that was, <laughs> what, that was being said in the Greco-Roman time, no. This is as ancient as the civilization. Hur Samatawi was mentioned from Dynasty 3, from the Old Kingdom. They found the text about Hur Samatawi and what is he about, okay? Yeah. Isn't the uh, lotus like, possibly psychedelic also? Yeah. 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 The snake also represents awareness. So right, yeah. awareness blo blossoming from the lotus. So. But this is, I, I see that you are seeing the same things I was saying just in different words. Mm -hmm. This is about growth coming out to the light. Hmm? Yeah. Leaving the darkness and going out to it. it could be spiritual as well. Mm -hmm. But it could be also spiritual and psychedelic. scientific and, and psychedelic, psychedelic. <laughs> it's all aspects yeah. it's all aspects same like when you see when you see uh, when you say i saw huh? i saw in a vision you didn't use your eyes but you said i saw how did you see without your eye huh? like sounds like your dad huh? <laughs> so here is the famous so-called light bulb if you want to take a good picture without the, are here. Oh, huh? yeah. Yeah. So these are all, in my opinion, that is much more important than the idea of a light bulb. I think here the idea that uh, these are light bulbs is something like trying to focus or misinform, yeah. uh, like the helicopter and the mm -hmm. flower of life and these things. Look, like a light bulb. look, 
The light bulb is, is nothing in comparison with this knowledge. Mm -hmm. So like, they want to say, oh, it's a light bulb, it's something advanced. No, actually, this is advanced. That's more advanced. This mm -hmm. is much more advanced than the story of a light bulb. Because this is how you develop the force of nature. This is how you harness. This is how you, this is like the formula itself. So here we have Hur Samatawi is coming out of the, as, as the energy coming from the primordial ocean. Same like the, the lotus flower itself, when it comes out of the primordial ocean. As I mentioned for you before, the myth of creation was the primordial ocean and the mound, the primordial mound was the first form that merged from it having the bin bin stone or the pyramidian shape on top of it. So only the story about pyramids and the, the activation of the pyramid could be in within these formulas. Also the jet pillar. The jet pillar is definitely coming also from the mound, stabilizing the process of this nether, or Samatawi, becoming a primordial, becoming eternal as well. Like you can benefit from this power eternally. So, you, what's the, what do you think the, the bulbous hmm? symbol represents? It's supposed to show that it's radiating. This, this is. Yeah. This is the primordial ocean. Mm. Same here. And different stages. What we can notice that it, there is also polarities. Because these are two. Not many people notice this. See? There is a lip coming out of the lip and a nose coming out of the nose. Oh, wow. An arm coming oh. out of the arm. Oh, wow. Huh? It's on top of each other. Yeah, it's two. And the same case on the other side. Do you see it? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Now the problem is these hieroglyphs, this is the whole story, okay? But these hieroglyphs uh, are uh, from an era, huh? لا استنى ما دول يطلع. حبيب الآل. Hmm? This the hieroglyphs of this era is coded, so it's not as easy as translating the classic hieroglyphs from the Middle Kingdom, which all academics, but one day I will have the time to get to the bottom of this and they have a complete detailed translation of the hieroglyphs. So far we know some things like gold, but like some kind of alchemy with, with gold or alchemy, precious alchemy. Ah, high, kha, rising, hmm? the crescent, iah, moons, it's plural crescents. So there is something here with valuable materials, something here with rising, this is rising. This is rising, coming out of the primordial water. And it has also astronomy in it, and plural one, like that means like part of the cycle. Because sometimes these formulas or these powers are not there every day. It had to be in certain time of the cycle, or certain parts of the cycle. But Jid Midu in Hur Samatawi, this is definitely about Hur Samatawi. Hiri Ib can mean like the, the one in front of like uh, that uh, has a happy uh, like uh, direction or mm, facing happiness. But it could be also alignment and pulse. If we, if we also understood, if we took this as emotional, then it will be a wish or happiness. Because it's a heart. But if we took the physical organ, then it would be a pulse. Mm -hmm. Why and is there a difference? Uh, yeah, this looks like a different type of a stone. This is older, maybe, or this is older. Not older. It's a different it's type of a stone. Oh, okay. okay. So what? Why? Why the double? What do you think that? Just a mistake? positive, negative. No, no. Polarities. Yeah, Polarities. There are two. Like this, the symbol of Nech here, infinity. So this is different than that. This is supported by the 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 element of the mount. This is supporting by, supported by or lifted by something that is probably the cycle of the sun, because it's the millions. Mm -hmm. hmm? On the other side, there is another one as well. We can see here that the arms reach the inside of it. Mm -hmm. hmm? And we can see that both of them, 
united together. So you have the Jid and you have the Nihr, both in one. You have the one here and you have the one there. So it's like these two are coming together hmm? mm -hmm. and then becoming one. Same like this character. Is it a frog or is it a baboon? Oh, baboon. Baboon frog. Baboon frog. <laughs> baboon frog. Here is the baboon and here is the frog. So it's a combination. Okay. So what, That's what is, all, folks. What is, what is, what do you think th this one represents specifically? The final of, stage. Of, of transform, of what? Of developing for Samatawi mm -hmm. to become, to like, what is it the process that you are trying to uh, like put the formula together to mm -hmm. have the result. Mm -hmm. This is the result. Mm -hmm. okay. 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 What did the hawk represent? Hu, this is the, the letter himself. Hur Samatawi. Huras, the unifier of the two lands. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Not for us right now, at least. Uh, we'll come back after. I mean, this underground must go a ways or not? Yeah. yeah. I'll go check it out. Excuse me. I'm gonna go walk that way. Excuse me. It's a trip. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> How far down is it? Like 40 meters. <laughs> it's like the, just the Osiren shaft, about that long. Dude, that was probably one of the coolest things yet. This temple in itself is, I, is this the best one? Like, does it get crazier than this? Divine knowledge of mathematics, astrology, sound, drug use, or psychoactives. Everything is encoded here. There's no way. I mean, Copper chisels must be the most magical goddamn tools that they could do this. Why do we even have power tools? Why do we even have bulldozers? Copper chisel, bruh. Every inch of this place is covered. Oh. How long? Like, what? Oh, I love them. <laughs> Ancient technology right there. Ancient less technology. That light bulb built by the third dynasty. Oh, I mean, look at this, though. 
That's a genius. Wow. Didn't even know there was an upstairs. <laughs> Quickly, like, peek in here. Nice room. Damn, these stairs go up way more than I thought. <laughs> To the penthouse. Which way? Which way? Following you, Chief. This way. Yo. Oh, Let me sing this way. Damn it. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. I almost thought I fell down a hole. I was like, wasn't looking. I was like, ah. <laughs> Whoa. Isis and the Neftis. Oh. We've got Anubis. Uh, Anubis? Yes. Wow. Oh, and that's someone dead? Sleeping in the Sleeping, yeah, nice bed. Wow, there's those two dudes. Oh, yeah, this looks like some sort of. Circ, like a burial ritual. Oh, shit. Ah. Wow. Oh, I'm coming on, coming on. Oh, okay. It's okay. Okay. No problem, it's okay, it's good. Whoa. So crazy. I Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> what are they doing? Yeah. What? This place? Wait, wait. Wow. Goes. Yeah, this way. Shukran. Yeah. Like, like any of these blocks. I didn't even think this was a thing. Like, we know, I know how big the drop is under here. Yeah. And it's just like, what is holding these giant rocks pasted together where it's like, no glue. These are so heavy and yet, like, no stable as yeah. anything else. Of years. Yeah. And then my ceiling falls in when it rains. <laughs> right. <laughs> What sort of ancient tech is this? It's safety. Ancient, ancient, ancient robot. Oh, uh, okay. Like yeah, exactly. <laughs> ancient Egyptians. Big for those of us on the perfect cranium. <laughs> well, it's good to know something about me is perfect. <laughs> Aww. Huge. Dude, I mean, this out. is it. This is how thick the book would be. This whole temple, bro. <laughs> well, watch you see Ed Edfu is the same thing. We'll see Edfu in a couple of days. Oh my god. Is it as like far out as this place? Like, yeah, Edfu, okay. Edfu is a trip too. Uh, okay. It's the Temple of Horus. And there's even there's more granite. There's like these beautiful granite falcons there. These giant sort of single piece granite falcons that are lovely. And of course, this whole place was built by uh, I Hyde in uh, 1819. Oh, so, dude. According to the hieroglyphs. Although maybe Bosari. <laughs> Bosari. That sounds there. like an authentic uh, Egyptian uh, name. Bosari. Even the graffiti is ancient. Yeah. <laughs> well, it says 1820 in here. No. <laughs> I think it took a year. Oh, look, here's one. Uh, Bosari. Bosari. Seattle. Amiro. Uh, C. I mean. Whoa. There's probably plenty of Greek uh, inscriptions in graffiti. Yeah. Uh, okay. Right. So that's yeah. Greek, huh? That's a H, I don't know. Or, or a Russian H. Yeah. 
I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, you see Greek uh, graffiti, graffiti in Greece in, in, and in the Grand in Great Pyramid in in Pompeii. This is full of graffiti. It's really silly it's graffiti too. Yeah. <laughs> well, you guys down into the Capra Pyramid, the second pyramid, is giant. Someone wrote his name in these giant letters in the. Bersoni. Bersoni. Can we? There and there, on the on that row in between the lines. Oh yeah. One and two. What is? What are we looking at? This one's slightly more flaccid than the other. Yeah. What, what are we looking at? The dick pics. Oh, nice. My favorite. Do you think they were added? No. No, no, they're original. There's there's actually several other places that have. Yeah. So there's actually some in uh, bas relief as well. So like one that's particularly well done. I can't remember which temple it is. It yeah, yeah, they're touching it. Yeah, yeah, there's a beautiful. Well, there's an even better one. It's in a black stone. It's a black. I can't remember which temple it is. I have... <laughs> a megalith. In the King's Valley, also, I think in some yes. of those, yeah, yeah. they yeah. have some yeah. really hard. What? Well, it's coming out. It is yeah. These are actually yeah. vibrant. Really hard and coming yeah. out. Yeah. All right. <laughs> well, sounds. That, that's the whole right. story too. Yeah. Who was it? The. Uh, the god that got he got all cut up into different parts. Osiris, yeah. Yeah. Horus into Osiris, right? Osiris, yes. Yeah. Osiris was cut up, and then yeah. she found just his a penis. Dick, yeah. And she yeah. fucked the a dick. And <laughs> it's pretty weird the story. Mushroom, but, yeah. it's okay, yeah. we got a mushroom. We got. We're mushroom? talking. We're talking here. Yeah, yeah. There we go. No, guys. Alien shining their beam down. Of <laughs> die. Could be a mushroom. Could be a UFO with its abduction beam. Wow. Whew. Yeah, let's go. I know. One time! <laughs> jump! Everybody jump! <laughs> Crazy because Egypt still is pr a lot more lush than people give it credit for. Yeah, it's fertile too. You look at this, the, the dirt that's like, like in the farmlands, mm -hmm. the beautiful black earth. That's yeah. Like, so it's still like there. Deal. All right. Being a sort of. Same See if I can do this without getting yelled at. Go up here? Yeah. Jeez Louise. Holy mackerel. Just like, I'm kind of confused as like, what are, how are they, these rocks staying up? Like, what's, <laughs> what's pasting them together that's strong enough to hold these giant... I don't know. I guess, I'm not sure on the actual structure. I haven't looked at it. I'm sure they've studied it. I got some more graffiti. Sure, yeah, he's at copper chisels, baby. Is that modern or ancient? There's like swirls in that hole. Like a spiral. Wow, let's go over so. Yeah. Hey, Ben, can I get your opinion on something over here? Look at this. There's there's spiral markings going into this hole over here. What uh, what's the deal with that? I don't know. I don't I don't I mean it's just this is sandstone. Uh-huh. 
So you could just, you know, and again, in the, in the middle to uh, New Kingdom, they definitely had iron and steel. Yeah, so okay, for sure. could have gouged that out. I don't think it's just, this stuff's not that hard to okay. scratch, as you can tell. But Makes sense. I wouldn't, I don't know, I wouldn't call that a tool mark. Okay. Someone's fucking, I don't know, maybe they dug, I don't know what, I mean, a lot of this, you probably had another structure on top of this. There's probably wood okay. sticking up. Yeah, here. that's why we have these holes. Fanners or arch, or like they would have Yeah, that makes sense. Awnings. That this makes sense. One has the same. Yeah, well, I think it was carved out probably to accept a, a, a piece of wood. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Another roof on top here. Another roof, banners and whatnot. Yeah, okay. Like that. Yeah. And this place would look fly with some banners for sure. Look at this. Oh yeah, to see any of this stuff in its prime. Dude. Dude. I, the pyramids pristine <laughs> I feel like I feel like if we walked in here and smoked DMT we'd be taken back in time to like where they were being built and like oh, see it all like yeah we'd be able to see the priests they'd high five us and then maybe like they, we'd, we'd wake like, up we're we'd high wake, too we, man. exactly yo good to see you bro we're meeting in the hyperspace <laughs> right? between time right and then like you'll wake up and then all of a sudden you'll see a hieroglyph of you inscribed on the wall and like oh my homie remembered me <laughs>